Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday, June 5th and I am this much into Battle Royale. So I definitely want to finish this and uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I will. I have 200-ish like pages left and I am very invested. I am reading this very fast because it's making me very stressed. So this is the first and the main plan for this week, then I think I'm gonna start reading City of Heavenly Fire, which is the last book in the Mortal Instruments series, because I am reading that series with my friend, and she has already started that last book last week, I'm pretty sure, so I need to catch up and... I mean, I am excited to finish that because I am not really enjoying the series, so I I want to get it over with, and I mean, I want to read other series of Shadowhunters in the future that I believe will be better, because I read The Infernal Devices actually before this one, and I did like that one, so, you know, I'm excited to end this one and move on. And then I actually want to start reading... Throne of Glass, which I feel like everyone has read except for me. And I, like, this series and all of Sarah J. Mass's series, I want to read them. But I am, like, I'm really excited because I love fantasy. And I read a lot of fantasy. But I also know that her series are also very focused on romance, which is why I haven't read them yet. Because I don't like romance. So... We'll see, but I want to read this maybe like towards the end of the week. Although, towards the end of the week, I'm not really going to be home because on Saturday, I'm going to go meet my friend and we're going to go out with some of her friends and like I'll stay over at her place. So I'll only get back like Sunday night. So I won't really be here towards the end of the week, but maybe like Thursday or Friday, like whenever I finish Battle Royale, I guess I will get into this and I will be listening to the audiobook of City of Heavenly Fire because I need to just listen to the audiobook because since I'm not that interested, I don't really have the patience to actually read what's happening. I'll just like listen while I'm doing some mindless task. And I am still in the horror mood because last week I read just like Battle Royale and two horror books, and I'm still in the horror mood. So I might also read some horror, and that already sounds like a lot of books that I probably won't read. But I mean, those are the plans. And yeah, that's it. Welcome to the vlog. that I was gonna read, I mean, that I was gonna start Throne of Glass on like Thursday or Friday whenever I finished Battle Royale. Well, it's Tuesday and I finished Battle Royale. So there's that. And these last 200 pages, which was what I had to read, were definitely the most exciting and the most stressful part of the book, which I mean, I guess makes sense because it's the end of a thriller. But it was a lot and I was very stressed, especially with what happened at the end of part three, which was like 50 pages before the end of the book. That got me very, very stressed. And yeah, I literally just finished. I read those last 50 pages, which was part four. And 
it was a roller coaster of emotions because like I was not sure if I should trust a certain character and then like they did something and then I was like okay I was right not to have trusted them but then I was like maybe I'm wrong maybe they're just fooling me and uh, yeah it was a roller coaster of emotions and I really liked it and the ending was definitely bittersweet but it was more sweet than I expected so I'm actually like pretty happy with how it ended even though like I would have liked to have seen more of something it was still very like it was satisfying enough and I think I'm giving it four stars but I'm gonna film a I mean I have been filming like a spoiler video for this so if you want to know like my thoughts with spoilers I will link it because it will come out before this one and yeah that is what I have read since the start of the vlog which was yesterday and also yesterday I I mean like if you don't like to hear about like, blood and things maybe skip until this time but basically my dad yesterday he bought a chicken but it was like a whole chicken and he was like cutting it into pieces and then he like he had to leave to go get my mom and he was like can you just like clean the kitchen and whatever and I was like yeah sure so I got to the kitchen and you know I thought I had like to clean like the cutting board and the knife and you know things like that no I had a literal crime scene to clean it looked like the chicken had actually been killed there there was blood everywhere there was meat everywhere I was like what has happened here so that was fun um you know, if someone out there has a crime scene cleanup company, if they want to hire me, I feel like I am now qualified because I had to scrub off dried blood from my entire kitchen. So that's what I did yesterday evening. Fun. And also, the smell of raw chicken is the worst thing ever for me. Like, it's so gross to me. And I did the lab work for my master thesis at the like, Forensic Institute where we had decaying bodies, badly decomposed bodies. And like when they were like really badly decomposed, you could smell them like two floors away, which was where I was. And that smell of little rotten bodies did not bother me as much as raw chicken does. So I mean, I don't know what that says about me either, but like it was not fun. But that has nothing to do with anything. I just wanted to share my struggles. And I am not going to start Throne of Glass right now, but I'm either going to start Lone Women, which is the horror book that I'm going to read, or City of Heavenly Fire. But I'm not sure I'm feeling like suffering. So maybe I don't feel like starting City of Heavenly Fire, especially because the friend that I'm buddy reading it with, she has like paused on the book so like she's not really reading it either right now so I don't think that I will do that to myself so yeah I am probably gonna read Lone Women which I know literally nothing about but it's from an author that I read a book I don't know if it was last year or two years ago but like I love part one of that book but then part two like kind of you know went a little downhill but I really really liked part one so you know there is potential for me to really like this book as well because I remember that I really liked the writing so yeah I'm gonna read that probably and I might film like the intro and outro for this video tomorrow so you know I will look put together so I might update this again because I never want to waste when I put makeup on because that is like a once a week occurrence literally for filming videos so yeah there's that I will probably talk to you tomorrow again
filming my video for Battle Royale and the lighting is absolutely atrocious. I mean, now it's getting sunny. It's been raining. We're having a storm. I think the storm is called Oscar. I could be wrong, but I think that's what my mom said. So there's that. It has been raining. I think there's going to be like a thunderstorm also either today or tomorrow. But that is besides any point. I am 45% into Lone Women and we are following Adelaide and she is running because at the beginning of the book we see her setting fire to her house with both of her parents dead inside the house and she is on the run and she basically wants to move to some place where no one knows her and she can start over and we don't know what happens to her parents, we just know that they're dead and she is traveling with a trunk that is locked and we know that there is something dangerous inside but we don't know what in the beginning like in the first third of the book i didn't even know like what the horror was gonna be but then we find out what is inside the trunk and i mean we sort of find out because like we see it we see it in action we have a description of it but I don't really know what it is. But it is dangerous, for sure. And I mean, the horror has started and I am liking it now that I know what is going on. I mean, I was liking already like the character because she's pretty unhinged and she is always thinking about like killing people. She has like an urge to kill people that is very entertaining to read and yeah, I mean, I was already liking her and liking, you know, her journey, sort of, but it wasn't horror. So, like, that was not really what I was here for, but now it is. So I'm liking it and I will probably read the second half of the book today. And while I was getting ready, I started listening to the audiobook of City of Heavenly Fire. I am 13% into that. And I mean, I'm not that much into it, obviously don't really have many thoughts, but the prologue was actually exciting. And I mean, I knew that already because my friend did say that like the prologue of this book was way more exciting than the entire previous book. And now that I've read it, I mean, heard it, I 100% agree with that. And also the like two or three chapters after the prologue, I mean, not as exciting as the prologue, but also... I mean, there are things happening, so I'm, I'm entertained, I am kind of excited, I'm not hating it, so that's, I'll take that as a win, honestly. And yeah, that is, that's it, that is the update, I will, like I said, probably finish Lone Women, I might get into some more of City of Heavenly Fire, I literally just said that and I already forgot the title, and... I mean, maybe after I finish Lone Women, I will start Throne of Glass. I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe tomorrow. Anyway, we will see. Also, I am watching the last season. I mean, the last, the second half of the last season of Manifest. And I am, like, I don't think I've ever, I mean, that is probably not true. Because I always hate the characters that I'm, like, currently watching. But I, there are not many characters that, that is 100% true. There are not many characters that I hate, that I have ever hated as much as one character in that goddamn show. I just want to strangle her with my own hands. Like, it's not enough for someone else to kill her. I want to, like, I want to feel that myself because I hate her so that much. And she is destroying everyone's lives. She wants everyone to die. And I just want her to die. And I am not okay. But I have watched five episodes. I have five episodes left and I am stressed. But I am excited because I have seen someone on Instagram saying that the ending was really good. So I am very excited. But I am going to get out of here. I am going to read and I'm going to edit and I'm going to watch Manifest.
hi, hello. I have finished. Had I finished it already when I talked to you last? I don't think so. I finished Lone Women and it did not go in the direction that I was expecting it to and that I wanted it to. And I don't know, like the supernatural thing that I was like excited for didn't really happen or like it barely happened and was more focusing on like real life horrors which are bad and important to talk about but also it's not what I'd like to read in horror books because it feels like more of a thriller vibe like, like maybe but I never like horror books that are focused on like real life things and it did have the other like supernatural element but it was barely even there and so it was a little disappointing and i mean the ending i did like and it was not like the typical horror ending that i like it was actually different so it was surprising that i enjoyed it but i actually did and i mean it was not a bad book for me it was just okay but i like after the end of part one i was expecting to love it and i didn't so yeah i'm a little disappointed by that i think i'm giving it three stars and then I am 81% into City of Heavenly Fire. And things are happening. It's definitely more interesting than the last two books. But I just still feel like it's unnecessarily long because there are still so many moments where I'm like bored because nothing interesting for me is happening. So I am not enjoying it. And if you're wondering how I am 81% into this, gigantic book that's because like the new update of minecraft just came out a few days ago and i decided to start playing minecraft again so i was just like listening to this audiobook while i was playing minecraft and that's how i got here and like if i was actually reading this i would be maybe like 100 pages in because i am not really that excited i would definitely not be 600 and whatever pages in that i am but um yeah i mean i'm probably gonna finish it today maybe hopefully because i want to get it over with but yeah i'm not loving it also i've had another traumatic experience this week and this time like if you don't like spiders just skip until this point so i like went to shower on wednesday and you know i was just there chilling and then i look at the wall and there was the biggest spider i've ever seen like in real life it was like this big and I mean, it was like a skinny spider, so that was fine. I thankfully don't have a problem with spiders. Like if it was a flying insect, I would have literally screamed and ran out of the bathroom, like dripping. That's what I would have done because I don't fuck with those. The other day there was like a huge flying insect in my kitchen and I was like, you know what? You can keep the kitchen. I don't need food anyway. Like who needs to eat? So I just closed the door. And I left and then I realized that I did need to eat. So like I ran into the kitchen, I grabbed everything that I wanted and I ran out again and I just ate in my bedroom. And then I waited for my dad to get home and actually kill the thing. But yeah, um, you know, the spider was like there. I was looking at it, it was looking at me and I was like, what am I gonna do now? It was like, it was like chilling right next to my towel. So I just ran, I grabbed toilet paper and I smashed it and yeah. This is clearly a very traumatizing week, but you know, I survived. And what else? Oh, yesterday I was like, I saw a thumbnail for a song and it had like a cartoon character on it. And it reminded me of a character from the Winx Club. And it was one of the villains. And then I realized that that was like the first time I've had a crush on a like, bad character, like on a villain. I think that was the first time I was like toxic. But hot. So I was corrupted from a very young age and I mean how are we not supposed to like the villains if they always make the villains hot? You know what I mean? And then I was telling that to my friends and now I want to watch The Wings Club. Like rewatch it. I never finished watching it because then I, I guess I like got older and didn't care about it anymore. But now that I'm obviously much older I kind of want to watch it. So like, am I gonna do that instead of using my time for reading? Possibly. 
Also, speaking of watching things, I have not watched any other episodes of Manifest. I don't know why, because like I am excited in what's happening, but I haven't watched it. But there's that. And I mean, that is, I think that's everything I wanted to update, everything that has happened in the last two days. And you know what? I was right in the intro when I said that I was going to start this either on Thursday or Friday, because I am probably going to start this today. And I, I don't even know if I want to finish City of Heavenly Fire first or if I want to start this first. But either way, I am planning on starting this today or tonight. And tomorrow I am going to leave for my friend's house. So, I mean, I might read or like listen to something. Ooh, I could finish listening to this on the train instead of reading it now. There's an idea. Or maybe I'll just want to like listen to music and disassociate. That also sounds like fun. Anyway, the point is, I'm not going to be reading much or anything on Saturday or Sunday. So, you know, most of my reading for the rest of this week will be done today. And yeah, that is the update. I will probably only be back on Monday to wrap up the vlog. So I'll talk to you then. Actually, I'm back because there was another thing that I wanted to show you. And that is that I got books. This was the like the last books I bought from Book Depository before it closed, along with the Stormlight Archive, like the first three books that I showed in maybe like a couple weekly vlogs ago. Anyway, now the point, they got here and did they take like a month and a half to get here? Yes, but they're here. And these are the first three books in the First Law world. And they're very pretty. So we have The Blade Itself, which is the first one. Then we have Before They Are Hanged. And lastly, we have Last Argument of Kings. And I just want to say that they, like the font is small, but it's like decent enough. Because in the Starlight Archive books, the third one, it's so tiny that I am going to struggle with. This one is... It's pretty decent. Also, they are very floppy, which is incredibly satisfying. And yeah, I mean, look at this. The spine won't break, which... I mean, I actually don't mind breaking the spines of books, but I know a lot of people do mind breaking the spines and like, this will not break, which... I mean, I prefer not breaking the spine, but like, if I have to, to read more comfortably, I will. But I'm happy that I won't have to. But anyway, that is what I wanted to show you. And now I will talk to you on Monday. Monday and I am here to wrap up the vlog and my friend and I did actually watch the wings I think we watched sorry that was not in the right position I think we watched 13 or like we stopped at episode 13 and that was very fun and nostalgic and also I don't really have any footage from when we were out because I forgot to film because I was socializing crazy I know I especially because it was like I only had one friend there like the friend I was staying with and then two people I like met maybe like three times and the other three people I didn't know at all so you know I was worried because like social anxiety but everyone was really cool so it was really fun and also got to hang out with our cat which is always super fun as well I mean, it's probably not fun for the cat because I love to like grab her and hold her and she doesn't like that. But it's definitely fun for me. 
And I only got to page 65, I think. Yeah, page 65 of Throne of Glass. So I don't have many thoughts because like this was what I read Friday night. And then Saturday and Sunday, I didn't read at all. So yeah, I mean, I'm only like this much in. So I don't have many thoughts. But I mean, I am liking it so far, but also I'm not very far. But yeah, that's what happened. That's what I read. So let's just wrap everything up. So I finished Battle Royale. I read Lone Women. I read City of Heavenly Fire. And I read the first 60 pages of Throne of Glass. And that is 1,329 pages, which I'm very happy with. And yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have enjoyed this reading vlog. And if you did, give it a like and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye!